The developers of Terrarium TV have recently released a software update. Because this new update solves the only problem that I've had with Terrarium TV, I figured that now would be a good time to revisit and revise my original pros and cons video from a few weeks back. As of the recording of this video, I'm using a second generation Amazon Fire TV stick running Fire OS version 5.2.4.1. The version of Terrarium TV software that I'm using is 1.7.1, .1, and the version of VLC software I'm using is 2.1.11. As I mentioned in my original video, I feel that Terrarium TV is very easy to install, has a great user interface, and it operates fast. The only issue that I've had with Terrarium TV was the ads. Not the fact that it uses pop-up ads to support its development, but that the ads interfered with the Terrarium TV experience. The pop-up ads had a tendency to override the Force Android TV mode settings and some of the pop-up ads couldn't be closed at all. So you either had to close and reopen the app or, worst case scenario, you had to force quit Terrarium TV using the Manage Installed Applications option from the settings menu. The 1.7.1 release has fixed this problem by adding an option that allows you to lock landscape orientation on Android TV. When pop-up ads appear that change the viewing orientation, Terrarium TV returns to landscape format automatically once the ad is closed. This release also auto-closes pop-up ads, eliminating the problem of having to force quit the application in order to get some ads to close. So to recap, Terrarium TV is very easy to install, it has a great user interface, and it's extremely fast. It employs ads to offset the fact that it's free to download and use, but these ads are minimally invasive and don't interfere with your viewing experience. Terrarium TV is currently my favorite APK for the Amazon Fire TV Stick, and I highly recommend it. If you have enjoyed this video or have found this information useful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.